What's going on guys, this is Astrum Sensei and welcome back to Let's Create an Action Role Playing Game in Unreal Engine 4. So in the last episode we imported a custom character from Mixamo and we imported uh, running animations and walking animations. So yeah, if you haven't watched that video, make sure to check it out. I'll put a link in the description and in the comments to the playlist of this whole series. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is go to project settings and define an input for sprinting. So I'm going to first, first thing I'm going to remove this reset VR because I'm not going to be supporting VR and I'm going to add a new one using this button and I'm gonna name it Sprint and I'm gonna set the button to left shift and then I'm gonna go to the blueprint class for our character BP base I named it in the last episode and in the movement graph oh okay and the, here I'm gonna create a new variable I'm gonna call it sprinting and I'm gonna first start by adding um, a sprint input so this is this says when you press the sprint button this is what happens and now when we press it we want to set sprinting to let's see we want to set sprinting to whatever it is not so if it's sprinting we want to stop sprinting and if it's not sprinting we want to sprint so this is how we do it we get the reference to the sprint variable and we drag out a new node and call and call one called not boolean so this is this is what does it if it's sprinting it's it turns it off and if it's not sprinting it turns it on so next we want to set the max walk speed using the first you want to get a reference to the character movement and you want to drag out a set max walk speed and you want to put it like this so our default walking speed is let me see it is 600 we also added the running animations to 600 so yeah here it is as for the um, sprinting, I'm gonna go for 900. Okay. Okay, so I messed up something. We don't need uh, this not variable. We're gonna just um, take the sprinting and put it here. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. We're just gonna set it to true. And we're gonna copy all this. Wait, there's no need for this. We, we can just use it like this. Okay and the walk speed I'm gonna get it back to 600 and this is what happens when we release the sprint button we set the sprinting variable to false and we set the max walk speed back to normal which is running so yeah let's try it out here's normal running and here's sprinting wait let me check yeah it makes us a little faster this is sprinting this is not sprinting hmm, maybe I should make it faster no this is good okay we'll, we'll it will show up later like we, it'll be clearer later when we add the animations so yeah let's do that right now first you want to get some sprinting animations from mixamo.com I, I already downloaded it but I'm showing you which one uh, it's this one and make sure you press the in place button yeah it's this one as you can see it looks cool so yeah I already um, downloaded it so I'm gonna go to the animations folder to the walk folder and I'm gonna just import the sprint um, animation which I downloaded where is it okay here it is two cycle sprint yeah let me just rename that to just sprint here we go and I'm gonna choose the skeleton of our character all right so I'm gonna go to the blue uh, blend space 
and over here I want to set the max uh, the max forward access value to 900 and also the um, minimum to minus 900 now uh, we could have just set the max to 900 but uh, the numbers would be messed up so yeah this is the best way to do it although we're not gonna be importing any sprint backwards animation because come on nobody sprints backwards so yeah now um, the numbers are messed up get running back to 600 get walking back to 300 and idle is still at zero so yeah that's great uh, walking backwards at minus three 300 so yeah that's great now I'm just gonna put the sprint uh, animation at the top here it is it's great alright so I think we're done for now now I'm, I'm not gonna end the video yet because there's a problem with this setup so if you do it it works properly as you can see you press the uh, sprint button she sprints and you release it she stops sprinting but the problem is with the um, turning now it's messed up with the running animation so when you turn it it kind of blends with the sprint so yeah I'm gonna fix that right now so the way to fix it is by um, going to mix ammo again and downloading dia diagonal jog here okay jog uh, forward diagonal mm, wait let me refresh that because mixamo somehow uh, messes up when you gets messed up when you um, minimize it so i don't know why uh yeah so jog forward diagonal in place here we go this one so this one's for the right direction you want to download it and you want to download oh is it right or left yeah i think it's left and this one's right you want to download uh, without mirror and with mirror for each side and let's import them because uh this is very necessary because i don't know it's just necessary it's, it's ugly without without these and go back to the BSP uh, walk and place these jog forward diagonal left at uh, next next to the running um, animation at uh, speed side minus 400 and the other one too here we go now it's much better let's let's test it okay it's great now there's a there's an issue with the right side as you can see because uh, the animation was made for the left side and the right side is just a mirrored version of the left side so yeah I don't know how to fix it but uh, if you if you're making a game and you have your own animations so yeah you you're going to make um uh, diagonal uh, jog animation for each side not just make the same one and mirror it like this one I don't know I'll, I'll, I don't know if there's a, a fix for this with the mix ammo animations I'll look into it but yeah for now that's great and if we try sprinting and turning it's also good now there might be an issue wait let me check yeah it's good if, if you think the difference between the animations is too fast, like she changes between them too fast, there's no blending, you can just go to the BSP walk and this one, the interpolation time, you can maybe make it minus three. This is the number of time it takes to switch between the animations. So minus three is 0 0.3 seconds, I think. and like one is just one second so yeah let's try it out yeah this is better she no longer uh, snaps so yeah, that's great now uh, there's an issue let me check yeah there's no issues it's fine uh, so yeah that was it for the sprinting one thing I want to do is um, add the uh, a toggle walk button because uh, right now we can't preview our walking animation so let's do that 
go to input and in action mappings you wanna put Sago walk slash run you can name it whatever you want I'm just trying to be as clear as possible with the names and the button is caps lock you can also maybe tab maybe, oh no tabs for the map maybe I don't know so what you want to do now is uh, create a new variable and you want to call it running wait let me uh, put this in its own comment sprint and I'm gonna be adding stamina later probably so you can sprint unless you have stamina but it's not in this video so yeah we're gonna add it later now uh, you make an input action for toggle so if you press the toggle button you set the you get the set the running and this is where we use the not node so if you if you get the running variable and you type not boolean here we go so now if it's not running it will run and if it's not if it's not uh, uh, if it's not running it will run and if it's running it will not run then you want to get a branch and the condition is uh, if it's running or not if it is running you want to get the character movement and set the max walk speed to 600 yeah 600 and if it isn't wait yeah if it is uh, not if it is not running you want to set the max walk speed to 300 okay what else okay let me uh, try it out so we're walking well, we're running we're walking okay there's uh, one thing I want to do here is uh, make sure the default value is running because uh, if it's off you will have to press the caps lock like the running input twice so I don't know I, I don't know why but uh, yeah if you want to do the walking first you'll have to do the, you, you'll have to call the variable walking and you want to kind of replace these so the true is 300 and the false is 600 but yeah I prefer the, that the game starts with uh, running then you want if you want to walk you just uh, press the, the toggle or um, maybe move the analog stick like slightly so yeah this is this is the toggle the toggle thing is for PC it's for keyboard users so yeah because there's no slight tilt so yeah let's try it out again yep all great that's great now um, as for sprinting wait let's comment on this toggle walk slash run as for sprinting um, let's test the toggle uh, thing with the sprinting so if we um, if we're walking and I press shift to sprint and I release shift she goes back to running but now if I press caps lock to toggle walking it's not working unless I press it two times that's because um, if we if we're walking we disabled the uh, running variable so we set it to false so what we want to do is uh, if we're sprinting like if we sprint while walking there's nothing to turn the uh, running variable back on so that's why if we release the we're gonna set the sprinting variable to 
uh, after the um, after releasing the sprint button, we want to set this. Oh, no, no, not the sprinting, the running. We want to set the sprint. We want to set the running uh, variable to true when we release the sprint button. So let's try it out. Here we go. So we're walking and we sprint and we re release the sprint button and then uh, we're running again and if we want to press the toggle button okay it works from the first time now we don't have to press the toggle twice but let me let me tell you one thing we're gonna save because uh, our work is precious so make sure to save every like five seconds um, if you want if you're running and you want uh, this is optional if you're running if you're walking and you sprint and you want your character to go back to running you can um, you can do something else I don't prefer it but uh, I'm gonna teach it anyway so you get the running no wait uh, yeah you get the running and after you release the sprint button you do a branch so if you are running if you are running if running is true um, you want to set the if running is true you want to set the max walk speed to 600 and if it is false you want to set it to 300 so let's test it so here we are we're walking and I press the shift button to sprint okay we're sprinting and if I release it we go back to walking now I don't prefer this because it doesn't feel natural during gameplay but uh, yeah you can do it if you want so yeah that's that's how we do it but I don't want it so I don't want to do it I'm just gonna do after the sprinting we go back to running so yeah guys this is it for this video hope you enjoyed hope I helped and um, yeah we made our sprinting thing now in the next video I'm gonna do the crouching but uh, yeah I know we're we're all excited to start on the combat system but that will have to wait because once we start with the combat system there's like gonna be no chance to work on other stuff so now we're making just a base movement so that we can get started with the uh, battle system so yeah guys thank you for watching make sure you like the video if it's helped you and make sure you subscribe if you wanna if you're looking forward to the combat system and the rest of the tutorial series thank you